Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna set up this very old and valuable live catch mousetrap in the barn to see how many mice we can get to go inside. This one's called the Catchmore. It's written on the metal plate on top and even though it looks rusty, it's in very good working condition. And if you happen to find one of these at a garage sale or antique mall, they're worth about $300 to collectors. Now I know that's a lot of money, but it's pretty typical for a mousetrap from this time period. For my YouTube channel, I try to buy every antique mousetrap I can find, and I spend around $10,000 per year. I've done that for the last several years, and I'm glad I can add this catch more to the group. It was first patented by Benjamin Hatchell of Crockett, Texas on August 21st, 1928. And if you look at the patent drawings, you see a spring-loaded door in front and a holding chamber in back. Now on top of the trap, there's a place for the bait. This folds up, and you place it right there. A mouse will smell the bait, go inside, and step on the floor. And when it does, it drops down, and the mouse can go inside. Then a spring pulls the floor back up. And once inside, it will look for a way out. Right here is a one-way door. It will lift that up and go in the back holding chamber. And to get the mice out, we'll pull the latch and open the back door. Now I'm curious if this trap can actually catch more mice. We'll first test it out with our pet mice, see if they go in there and get caught, and then we'll set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to get some wild mice. That worked pretty well. Now that he's caught in this middle chamber, we'll see if he finds this one-way door in the back. Come on through here. Well, it worked with our pet mice. Let's go set this up in the barn with motion cameras and try to get some wild mice. Good job. Well, that was disappointing. After testing out the Catchmore for over a week at three different locations, we didn't get a single mouse. They did check it out, but that floor that moved just freaked them out. They didn't go inside. A squirrel tried to get the bait and lifted up the lid and ate some of the peanut butter. The best part about the footage was seeing a snake sticking his head through a hole checking things out. That would have been awesome to see if it got a mouse. But as far as the Catchmore, just not effective. It's a great antique mouse trap for my collection, but it's not a great mouse trap. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to the viewers who are sending me fan art. I love seeing the pictures. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch or not catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.